The discovery of gigantic reserves of oil and natural gas in the Santos Basin raised Brazil to new prominence within the petroleum industry. Petrobras has made significant investments in the development of the Santos Basin, which are directed toward the pre-salt reserves where the Lula and Sapinhoa fields are located. The Lula field, originally denominated as the Tupi area in the exploratory block BMS-11, was discovered in 2006. It is operated by Petrobras in partnership with the companies BGENP Brazil and Petrogal Brazil. The Sapinhoa field, originally known as Guará in the exploratory block BMS-09, was discovered in 2008. This field is operated by Petrobras in partnership with the companies BGENP Brazil and Hepsol Sinopec Brazil. In these two fields, two production development projects have been implemented using innovative technologies. The Lula Nordeste pilot with the FPSO Cidade de Parachi and the Sapinhoa pilot with the FPSO Cidade de Sao Paulo in Sapinhoa. Both these projects utilize spread moored FPSOs in water depths of approximately 2,140 meters. At a distance of about 300 kilometers from shore at the border between Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo states, each has a daily processing capacity of 120,000 barrels of oil and 5 million cubic meters of gas. To the extreme water depth, the presence of contaminants in the petroleum and mid-ocean conditions typical of the Santos Basin, the riser system adopted for these projects required innovations. Faced with this pioneering effort and a wide range of possible solutions, Petrobras selected its suppliers based on a competition for project concepts. The winning company presented riser system similar for each of the two fields, comprised of two buoys that, once installed, would be submerged at a depth of about 250 meters. This system, known as BSR, buoy supporting risers, allows independence between the activities of installing the rigid steel risers and the platform vessel, FPSO. It also permits a reduction in the support measures required for the various kinds of lines, which results in a considerable reduction in the weight on the platform. Each BSR has the following dimensions, 52 meters of length, 40 meters of width, and 10 meters of height, weighing close to 2,700 metric tons. Each unit has the capacity to sustain 2,800 tons, corresponding to the weight of the risers. The support for each BSR consists of four suction piles, which measure about 23 meters in height and 8 meters in diameter each, weighing about 200 tons apiece. The BSR is anchored to the suction piles by means of eight tethers. Each BSR supports up to 23 risers, including oil production, water injection, gas injection, service lines, and umbilicals. The subsea connection is achieved with pipeline end terminals, or PLETs. Each rigid riser is close to four kilometers long, totaling more than 100 kilometers of rigid pipe in each project. The production risers and water injection risers consist of carbon steel pipe which is lined externally by polypropylene. This provides thermal insulation and anti-corrosive protection in the ocean environment. Internally, a special alloy is used to resist corrosion. The gas injection lines are carbon steel pipe, likewise lined externally with polypropylene to resist corrosion in the ocean environment. The topside connection of the risers with the FPSO is accomplished by the use of flexible jumpers. The subsea production and injection systems are comprised of approximately 230 kilometers of flexible pipes and 200 kilometers of control umbilicals. The supply chain is distributed across four continents. The offshore installation operations for the BSRs began with the transport and installation of the suction piles, which were needed to tether the buoys to the seabed. The BSRs were transported along the Sao Sebastio Channel to their definitive locations by large-sized transport vessels. Offshore construction vessels were used for the installation of the tether assemblies and in the operations for ballast and pressurization adjustment of the tanks during the controlled descent of the buoys. At the pipe manufacturing facility in Ubu, in southern Espiritu Santo state, Sets of pipe were welded together in sections known as stocks, each approximately one kilometer long. The risers, meanwhile, were installed by a rigid pipe lay vessel, starting with the reeling of the stocks that were welded together. Once at the location, the plet is welded to the riser end. In sequence, the assembly is launched for the placement of the plet at the seabed. The steel catenary riser, SCR, 
is then laid from the plet to the buoy supporting risers. Once installed, the risers are cleaned, inspected, and hydrostatically tested by a service vessel. The first well connected with this buoy riser system began producing in the Sapinho A field on February 18, 2014. The use of technologies such as the BSR, combined with integrated project management, best operating practices, and concern for the preservation of life in the environment, has prepared Petrobras to overcome new challenges and ensure energy security in a continuously expanding and ever more demanding marketplace.